In this video, we are going to go over how to calculate binomial probabilities in SAS. And for the exact value of it, when x is equal to x, we would use the PDF of binomial, in quotation marks, x, p, and then n. If we wanted to find the cumulative binomial probabilities, we are using CDF instead of PDF. And uh, the CDF one is when we want less than or equal to some number. If we want greater than or equal to, we do, we do 1 minus CDF of binomial XPN. And then to do between two values, we do uh, CDF of binomial BPN and then CDF of binomial APN. So let's say, for example, if we want, wanted to do if we wanted to do, and let me very quickly draw this out. Let's find the probability of getting exactly let's do three heads out of a total of eight trials. So for this we need to do data. Uh, we need to come up with some name for it, so I'm just going to call it binomial. And I'm going to assign a variable to this value. So that's the x equal to PDF of, you put no quotation marks and then binomial. By the way, make sure you use the same quotation marks on either side of this. Do note when I press the key how it automatically provided both. Uh, binomial x in this case we were going to call eight, um, 3, we're going to call p for a probability of flipping a heads as 0.5 and a total of 8 samples or trials, I should call them, and then run. Uh, since we also want to make sure we print out these values, we're going to do proc print, proc print, and then we are going to use x in our data step, and then run. And this will give us a value for, flip, for again, three heads from eight coin flips as 0.219 about. Um, if we want to do the same thing, but do less than or equal to 3, the only difference in this calculation is this PDF is going to become a CDF. If I could spell, that would be helpful. Otherwise, everything else stays the same. We'll click one for that, and that will give us now a new value of 0.3633. If we want to do to the right of 3, so 3 or greater, we are going to be doing 1 minus CDF of 3.5 and 8. And then 1 again. This will give us now 0 0.6367. And then finally, if we want to do between two values, so why don't we do between let's do three and six so for this we are going to do CDF binomial we're going to do six first comma point five comma eight minus CDF of binomial 3.5 and 8. And when we run this again, we obtain that particular probability, which is 0 0.6016. Right. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.